Hi, my name is Dallas, and let's type Japanese on Windows 10. First, go over to this website. After you've gone to the website, you will see this big blue button here. And click this one. Alright, upon clicking this one, you may see uh, different languages, but just uh, press this button here. It will ask you for uh, where you're going to download, so just press save. Okay, now it's downloaded. Let's uh, click this click this application. And uh, press yes, or if you have some kind of password, yeah. Let's just wait for it to install. Okay. Now that it's installed, you can just leave this as is, but um, I would recommend you to turn this off and press OK. There, you can see that we have Google IME added, as we can see here. For changing languages, you can press Windows. You can hold Windows and Space. Here you can see uh, different uh, languages installed. Um, keyboard languages installed in your PC or on your laptop. What you just need to do is to just press Windows, uh, just hold Windows and press the space to change and release Windows. There it is. For additional settings, uh, let's head over to uh, the settings. Let's head over to settings. Go to time and language. Go to language and press Japanese and press options here the default for the Jap uh, for the keyboard layout is in 106 over 109 keys this is good if you have a Japanese laptop with a Japanese keyboard if you're using a US keyboard it's better to change this so that you won't have any problem with um, with punctuations and those other stuff okay let's change this to English 101 over 102 keys and press restart. Alright, after the PC is rebooted, we can check here if it is set into Google IME on this lower right, which is not. So we can put back by holding Windows and pressing space and releasing Windows key. Alright, let's start with the basics. In typing a Japanese word, you can type it first in its Romaji form and it will automatically be converted into its hiragana by the system. However, after, you can actually modify that one and finalize it as a katakana or in its kanji. In typing hiragana or any Japanese words in that matter, we must first check if our keyboard is set into Japanese which you will see here it is not. You can change it into Japanese by pressing this one. And now it will, what we type will be in Japanese. You can also put it back by pressing it again. There's also a shortcut which is pressing and holding HALT and pressing the tilde key which is right beside number 1 in your keyboard. And by pressing it again, pressing and holding HALT and pressing tilde key, it will go back to English. Now let's go back to Japanese. In typing hiragana, we can just uh, type in, in its romaji form. Okay, let's try to type sayonara. Sayonara. And press enter. We have successfully typed hiragana. Let's type katakana. In typing katakana, we must type it first in, in its hiragana. And we can do the modification afterwards. So let's try French fries. French fries. The Japanese of French fries in its romaji form. Romaji form is fu, furaido, furaido potato, furaido potato. Okay. Now, if you want to type it into katakana. Uh, kana. 
we must first type it in hiragana. Okay, let's go. Uh, press Alt and tilde key and press this. Fu rai do poteto. Fu rai do poteto. And you can see actually that there are text predictions below. You can press space to navigate for each, or you can also press tab to navigate for each. Let me try and pressing space. Then you can see that we have picked the first one, which is this one, Foraido Poteto in Katakana. However, we can also do it by using tab here. By using tab, you can actually navigate each of these. You can also, after pressing tab, you can also choose from 1, to one and 2 by pressing 1 and 2 on your keyboard. There's another uh, trick in typing katakana. That is first by typing the hiragana of uh, french fries or furaido poteto and pressing F7. And there it will be converted into katakana and you can just press enter to finalize. Alright, let's type another word in katakana, which is kohi, or the coffee. Here we can see in the in its romaji form that it has a vowel lengthener, kohi. So we can type this by typing the, hirag the hiragana, ko, and then you can find the vowel lengthener just right beside zero on its right, which is the dash, and pressing it, and then pressing he, and the dash or the vowel lengthener. You can press space after or press tab to pick this first one, which is kohi, the one we're finding, or press F7 and enter. Typing in kanji also works on the same principle. So first we need to type the hiragana of the kanji we need. We can navigate using space or tab. And we can also choose by, by pressing space or tab and then using the number keys. Here, I would like to use the tree and press enter. Okay, let's test this out. We have the word hayai, which can be early or fast. Early and fast have different kanjis. So, if we would like to choose early, and we can type the hiragana of early, hayai, hayai, and then choosing the kanji by pressing space. Because this is the one, the first one is what we need, and there, and then press, pressing enter. And next is if we want fast, we can also do it like the other one, like hi hi. And this is the fast. This is the kanji that we need. So you can navigate through your through tab, pressing tab by doing this, or using your arrow keys, or you can also press number three and press enter. Alright, let's type something in Japanese. Uh, here we have Watashi no namae wa Mohikan desu, which is my name is Mohikan. Alright, let's first start typing Watashi no Watashi no and choosing the first one here. We don't need to press enter after. We've uh, chosen by using space or tab. So we can just type away. Namae and then use tab to press for the first one and then I would type wa and then enter because I'm going to type mohikan and that would be in katakana which is mohikan here it won't be automatically converted into n in Japanese so you need to press n twice there and I can press uh, the tab to choose this one or I can just press choose F7 and enter and this and period and enter. Now for the second example let's go with a tongue twister which is niwa 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 torigairu which means there are two chickens in the garden. Let's type it. Now here we need to type Niwa, Niwa, the garden. And here we can see the kanji for Niwa, garden. And just type Niwa, 
and uh, press enter and we can type Niwa. We need the counter for two birds. So we can, check, we can choose here. We need number seven. You can press number seven and enter. So and now let's uh, type Niwa Tori which we have here the kanji for Niwa Tori chicken. Just press space and ga i ru i ga iru. So press uh, period and enter. For the third example, let's go with the tongue twister. Nama mugi, nama gome, nama tamago, which is raw wheat, raw rice, raw egg. Let's type it. Nama mugi. Amamugi, we need the second one here. Press tab twice. And let's type another Namagome. Namagome. And we need we need this. We just need to press space. And Namatamago. 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 Which is here. The first one here again. We can just uh, press uh, period and enter. Now we have successfully typed the tongue twister. In typing Japanese sentences, there are times when you need to type an English word in between the Japanese sentences as is. So, for example, in number four, sometimes I watch YouTube, which is Doki Doki YouTube wo mimasu. Uh, we can type it like this. So first, we must type Toki 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 and uh, press the space and we can press shift and press Y there. It will continue to uh, type in English we can just do it here Good. until we finalize the word, which we finalize it by pressing enter. O ni mas. So press uh, space and period and enter uh, there if if you want to type a lowercase word you can also do it like this toki 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 doki and uh, you need to finalize toki doki first and go back to english by pressing alt and tilde and youtube and then going back to japanese again by out uh, holding out until the omimas and this and pressing that pressing space and enter now you have successfully typed an english word within a japanese sentence for the fifth example we need to have the small two for double consonants you can do so by Pressing the consonant twice. So let's say it. There. You can see I pressed P twice and this showed up. Okay, for the last example, let's say you are typing Japanese and you want the spaces to be very small. Because if you put spaces on Japanese words or sentences, it, it will be very far away as you can see here you can do this by uh, pressing pressing the word you want or the letter you want in Japanese pressing finalize it and go back to English by pressing out and tilde key and space and go back again in Japanese out tilde and type the Japanese word you want again and you can do so multiple times. And go back to English, space, go back to Japanese, and we have two. And there you have it. The spaces are now shorter. All right, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you if you like the video, you can just leave a like and subscribe even if you want. And see you in the next one.